So how do you know when you're transitioning from perimenopause to menopause? Well, sometimes you'll start to see symptoms of low estrogen. Now, some women will have this consistently throughout your transition because sometimes we'll have roller coasters where we have high and then we have low symptoms of estrogen. So what are the most common symptoms? Fat cellulite increase, kind of a distribution or redistribution of where you normally would gain fat. And oftentimes for ladies, I'm told like there's a fat suit. They seem like there's like cellulite or fat kind of all over the body. And this is something that I've seen with low estrogen symptoms. Now, poor memory, not as sharp as attack as you used to be wanting to get some ADD medication. Yep. Low estrogen, get that checked before you jump on the medication. Fatigue, wrinkles, Fine lines starting to creep up, getting deeper, getting more pronounced, or new ones coming more rapidly. That mm -hmm. is an estrogen issue. Increased cholesterol, increased blood pressure, issues with your gut, more food sensitivities. Didn't write that one down, but it is something that I do see happening over and over again. Why? Because estrogen is 400 functions in the body. And as we get older, it tends to be that we are going to have more and more symptoms of low estrogen if we don't do something to help correct our hormone imbalances before we head into menopause and perimenopause. Now, what can you do to correct this low estrogen thing? Well, you want to boost in particular your estradiol. You can do that with bioidentical hormones, which are the strongest and most effective way to do things. Of course, you want to test. You want to be on top of all of that. But you can also use herbs like black cohosh. You can also use things like red clover. You can use a combination of flax, chia, pumpkin seeds, and it can be done. You just have to have a little bit more diligence in that case and keep in mind that yes, the bioidentical hormones are stronger, but the bioidentical hormones only work well if you have your gut on point and you know how well you metabolize your estrogen so that there's no kinks in the process. So there are things to be thinking about when you're heading into menopause officially and you start to see a lot of these symptoms of low estrogens. But I want you to know that you're not alone. There are docs like me out there helping you to guide you through this transition. The other side of this is that we also have have, like I mentioned, 400 functions in the body governed by estrogens. And us ladies, we're living longer. We have the potential to spend half of our life lacking hormones. And think about it. If half of our life we might be lacking hormones, wouldn't we want to do the most we possibly could to live the healthiest, have the nicest skin, be the strongest we possibly could be and keep our weight and our body and our physique in check? Absolutely. So bioidentical hormones are definitely something you want to be thinking about to help you to reverse the signs of aging and also to prevent quick aging once that estrogen starts to really come down. Now I've seen it be a game changer for a lot of ladies in my office, but there are some caveats and you definitely want to get someone on board in your camp to help to guide you through this transition. And you want to have someone that knows that you've got to test how you metabolize these estrogens because you could take a bioidentical hormone, but if you don't metabolize it well, you might not get that correction and could set you up for having some side effects like higher estrogens because you're not metabolizing them. Or you could have some serious complications such as breast cancer and things of that nature. Now, bioidentical hormones have been researched to not be linked to breast cancer when taken properly and managed to make sure that you are metabolizing estrogen effectively. So this is why it's absolutely crucial to have someone on board that can help you with all aspects and look at every single thing you need to know to make sure that you are metabolizing your estrogens effectively. So these guys are the main symptoms that I see the most common ones in terms of estrogen deficiency. The only one I didn't write on the board and I'm gonna write right now is dysbiosis. Get that gut in check 
before you fully head into perimenopause and menopause. It will help you a long way and it'll help to keep you healthy for life in this case. So if you've enjoyed this information, you could head over to drjkrausnd.com, my website where I have my podcast, The Health Fix, where I talk all things hormones, but also all things in terms of tools to help you become your own best doctor because you know you better than anybody else. So head over to drjkrausnd.com for more information. Thanks for